<laughs> oh god, we're on fire. Alright, and we're back for part two of Allies of Justice. As we come back, it's been a couple of hours later. Everyone met back up with Tony, who just finally came to consciousness as... Ooh, somebody's making so much background noise. Ooh, yeah, my chair. chair. My chair sucks. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, mute yourself. Hey, shit. Everybody just get in the habit of muting yourself when you're not talking and saves problems. Mm. As the scene opens up, Tony currently, like, weirdly opens his eyes as he looks forward as Jenna, a little more singed than what he remembers, sits over him with a concerned look as Tony leans back forward in disbelief. Jenna? Jenna, is that you? Oh, my darling little girl, he says as he pushes up out of the hole that he was partially buried in him to and covered with branches as he reaches in and just um, embraces his little girl as the five of you stand back a couple of feet looking at the scene of good work that you guys done. Gub Gub kind of just sitting in Bear's arms currently. One arm completely devoid of fur. Keep in mind that during these couple hours, Aze has been prof been um, apologizing profusely for the condition that he put basically everyone, including her, in. Just like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Didn't mean for me going through the fire. That was a big mistake. It was pretty cool, though. <laughs> So bad. <laughs> Nashville sure follows along silently, of course, but. Check the I don't like being in the mic. Well, let's just, uh, I think we should, shouldn't, we shouldn't stay around here too long. We should probably head back to, um, the, uh, village. What? The village that tied what, wasn't. What, what about the. the crux? We dealt with the leader. Shouldn't be, shouldn't be a problem for <laughs> a little bit. And you know what? We can probably say Gub Gub took care of him. That way, Gub Gub can be the new leader, and as long as Gub Gub stays away from the town, we'll have no problems, I assume. Oh no, Gub Gub's gonna be very close to town because I plan on going to town very soon. I don't think it's a good thing if he comes with us there. Okay, okay well, first off, Gub Gub, <laughs> in all honesty, where do you want to go? Oh, Gub Gub wants to be with me, don't you? Bear, Bear, let's hear oh. out Gub Gub. Gub Gub, this, this is this is you and me right now, one on one. Where do you want to uh, go? Tell him, Gub Gub. <laughs> Gub Gub likes being fed food and treated like. Special crux. So yeah. you want to stay with Bear? I'm oh, tired God, of God. always fighting crux crux. And there's always new snark snark, and there's always new boss boss. Gup Gup happy with Bear being boss boss. Oh, um, I would like okay. to roll insight to see if he determines to kill us in our sleep. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> really but I basically, as Gup Gup's like talking, it. it you get the idea that he's tired of the life of always fighting, okay. shanking, and having to up best the last person that was there to just survive in his culture, which he seems like he enjoys the culture of giving free food. Also, he ate all the shrimp and <laughs> being protected by bear. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Gub Gub, you're such a greedy. Okay. All right, well, if that's your decision, Gub Gub. <coughs> okay. All right. Okay, so he's coming with us. I suggest you two, as I look to Tony and Jenna, come with us as well. Take you guys back to the village. Tony, you still need to answer for a few things. 
he's not even paying attention as he's just like overly oh. joyed. It's like as he finally turns, he's like, "Thank you, thank you all so much." I I don't know what I would have done if I didn't if I lost my little girl. Can she still walk? Yes, she was healed. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Well, I'm either sorry way, she got I think so from now on, don't go antagonizing the cruxes anymore. No, of course not. Of course not. I mean, show of good faith and my thanks. Before we go back to town, can we have a sleep? There. Hold on. A show of good faith and thanks. I want you guys to keep the sword. <laughs> Yashua oh, looks pointedly at uh, Mr. Tony. He says, The sword was never yours, Mr. Tony. If anything, well, and then he turns to uh, Gub Gub, he says, This should belong to you. I agree. I'm. Okay, I guess so. <laughs> Gub Gub looks at it with a sneer. It's like, Shiny Shiny only gets. Crux like Gub Gub shanked at night. You take the sword. Yashua looks, he says, the, the weapon is much too mighty for me to handle. And then he looks around and he says, since he has been given consent, and he goes around and he places it uh, in between all of us, and he says, any of you who want it may take it. Uh, Does anyone else know how to use a sword? I don't know like to use his paw to rip and claw. I mean, I can use a sword. Okay, so I try to pick it up. How heavy is it? <laughs> 16. 15? I thought 15? it was 16. It's 16 weight. Yeah. Oh, 16. Okay, it's, bad. okay, it's 16 weights. What's the... Like, what... <clears throat> what's... What What? What? What limits what, what, what I can wield? You have a carry weight of your strength times 5. Okay. Plus whatever your bag can hold. All right. All right. And my okay. So from the strength times five, which is twenty, and then my bag. Uh, I don't really know what my bag can hold. It's plus um, ten. It's just a plus ten to that twenty. Okay, so thirty. That was so like base description of bag at the beginning. Oh, okay. Where? All right. Um, I guess I could use this, although I'm not really a melee fighter, unless that it's really carry needed. weight doesn't apply to combat, which, once again, looking over the sword, it doesn't even look like a combat sword. It's rusted to haul hell, it's not something to wield for fighting. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> we could always well, sell it. And buy some more shrimp, because Grub Grub ate all the shrimp. I, 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 think, I... I think this is a good point, since you guys are finally agreeing to take the sword, that you can finally have a handout for it. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> ah, I'd say give it to me. Me and my people will eventually restore it to its beautiful glory. That makes I sense. think, <clears throat> if I may, I think we should give it to Tide see what he thinks. That also makes sense. How about we deal with this once we get to the village? I just want to get out of this place. <laughs> you don't want to have a nappy nap first. If we can get to Ty, uh, not Ty, it's Tony's cave, that'd be nice. We're at Tony's cave, I thought. No, I thought we were... We we were back at like you're in right the middle of the at forest, the entrance. You're not at Tony's cave. Oh, okay. Okay. So, okay. so we're not at the entrance to the uh, Crux uh, territory where we first fought the Crux. No, you went back. We're, to we're at Tony. where we buried Tony essentially. Okay, so they put Tony in the, like a hole in the middle of the forest, and we're there. Okay. Yeah. Well, if it's not too much a hassle, can we take a rest over at your place? Sure. I I don't have any qualms with that. Uh, when, uh, uh, when the party starts to move, uh, can Yashua take a moment to 
try and obscure like any tracks that we may be leaving in the forest as we're heading towards Mr. Tony's place. Like, um, I have the tracking skill, and I, I don't know exactly how that functions, but is there a way for me to, like, uh, instead of finding our path and following it, can I kind of obscure it a little bit? That'd be a survival. Uh, yeah, figure. Okay. I can roll survival. Can I also help out with that? You would can I roll my over... own survival, or...? If you want to do it. It's up to if that's something you want his character, your character will do, that's all you... There's not a help action in this. It's just individual rolls. Okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Eh, I'll. I'll help him out. So as you all begin to make your way back to the camp, it moves on to later in the middle of the night before you actually reach to the cave entrance that goes into Tony's little bungalow as he goes in with his daughter in hand he gives you all one more final like look over and a nod in appreciation as he speaks out to you all I don't know what I, else I could do for you all but thank you Got any food for Gob Gob? Bear, we can find some when we get back to town. It'll be fine. But Gob Gob's hungry, aren't you, Gob Gob? Is We're the sleeping here, though, aren't we? Is, uh, yeah. Yasha, Yasha would like this into motive. The thief planning on betraying us and throwing us into a trap. <laughs> I don't you think he I trust him. He seems oh, pretty... He's a thief! He stole, murdered, lied! <laughs> Maybe murdered. I don't know about that. But... We saved his daughter. I think we can trust him. <laughs> Joshua. Which... Weren't is... you working with him before we met up? Uh, yes, I came to protect him from uh, people who were invading his place. So, looking at him, you don't sense anything malicious or any lies in him? Okay. We're sleeping here, though, aren't we? Like, that, that was the plan? We're, we're taking a breather before we head back to town. Yes, let's do that, Getting please. Rest. It's been a long flipping day. <sighs> Hopefully you guys so, read that paragraph in the sword. I, I did. Uh, yes. So, as you all begin to sleep for your allotted successes for the day as you go back and reflect on everything that you went through. Some of you taking time to work out some kinks and ideas and patterns that you had for combat. Others go through like past tutelage and knowledges to try to advance yourself better in your craft. You guys take a rest. Yay. Yeah. First rest. And we of them. push the level up button finally. And you push <laughs> the level up button finally. Uh, I have a question. Did we oh, get yeah, but... any experience points from last session or from killing Skull Crusher? We, this we already week? got everything from last session. That's whether we got anything. The... I know at the start of last session. Level up twice. Right. session before that, right? That ASP will be calculated at the end of this week's game. Okay. So from like all the sessions before, we get two levels up, right? Calculate it. It's not the same for everybody. Depends on where you were. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. So wait, let me look at this EXP. I feel like I need to. Okay. So EXP, EXP per week. Yeah. Let me just look at this. Ah, uh, okay. So, so I would get all the EXP except for that 120 from Yashua. Now, we... Mm, okay, let me just make sure. That... 35 skills? Oh my god. It's crazy. Is it supposed to multiply it like that? Or is it supposed to roll individually? 
multiply what? Well, for my HP, I leveled up twice, so I should have 2d6 <laughs> in it instead of old 1d6 times 2. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. No, Yay. 33 but, EXP for everyone. For the um, 6th the 16th, that's 150 plus 120 plus 33, right? Yes, that's what that means. Okay, <laughs> that's a fucking lot of XP. It's funny, the biggest yeah, joke right. about this... Five skill that's... points. Ooh. <laughs> uh, now th this is a question I have uh, because it came up earlier but your maximum skill level for like any skill you can have is your level plus three right right uh, so what I was saying is like the DC for rolling a that's why I was uh, telling it doesn't matter because they have attributes it's not just ranks it's attributes plus ranks Oh, I didn't know it was attributes plus ranks. I've been rolling really badly. <laughs> How much XP for a level up? It's 100, right? I thought it was just like your skill. Well, if you look well, under you look EXP chart, notes, yeah. look oh, under EXP it? notes, oh. EXP yeah, health, okay. EXP table. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, there, yeah, it would probably seem like it's just your ranks because since your attributes are so low, it doesn't seem to be making a difference. So that's probably why you're thinking that. No, I, th I thought it was just that. Was okay. There. I've only been rolling my ranks. Here's the funny thing. Even with calculating the 33 other XP, because I wasn't there for that other fight where you didn't kill Gub Gub, I'm still not leveled up yet. That's hilarious. Sad. Sad, sad. You're not, not leveled up points. one? He did really well in his skills. No, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not past level one yet. I'm at 295 from 5 EXP. Skills? Holy from level shit. one to two, you need 100 EXP. From two oh. to three, you need 300. From oh. three to four, you need 600. Okay, all right. Yeah, let me look at that level up chart. Thank you for I that. I would do anything for that. All right, okay, one, so I did level up. So That's great, okay. And remember, okay. when you level up, your max HP increases. It does not heal you. Right, right, I remember that also, much. So when you level up... It changes your maximum EXP total, not your current. Yeah, that that's what he said. Hmm. Or at least that's what I got from what he said. That's not what he said. He was talking about HP, not EXP. Oh. Uh. Your your XP is a is a health pool or a total pool. Why? And it, the threshold to get to a new level increases. Okay. Let me... This is probably super exciting to everyone. Oh the, yeah, yeah. Most it's the best. Pathetic. Yeah, guess oh. what? I'm. I actually got my racial passive now. There we go. <laughs> this is the part where you guys severely start to outclass me. Alright, hold on. What else do I get? <laughs> Fuck me. Um, Alright. Oh, well, I get attributes and abilities. <laughs> Fuck yeah, bitch. Alright. One attribute and one ability. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so now I'm at 11, yay! <laughs> I think I should bring up my strength. Right, so there we go. go. Okay, alright, so let's see here. Am I going to get... <clears throat> now, for all intents and purposes, you probably should do this later, because it's not going to come up. Yeah. Immediately. Wait, it's, it's not going to what? Do this after It's not going to show up immediately, yeah. Eh. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Then I'll just put in my notes. The only thing that will come up immediately is if you got an ability and attribute point, which you can just put that in now, so we can just move forward. Yeah, I don't know which ability I want though. They're also good. But as you guys eventually rest and head to sleep. You're all eventually woken up with the soft sounds of birds and the gentle breeze of morning winds and the comforting feel of a good well rest that is best dealt with also the comforting feeling of doing good 
but the day is past. As you begin to stretch and eventually wake yourselves up in a manner befitting of your own particular styles. <clears throat> so where do we actually sleep inside his place? Outside of his actual house somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Kronk Kronk will be probably one of the, the first people up. Just all excited to get his trophy that he took from Skull Crusher ready. So he'll be he'll be sitting on whatever rock he can drag nearby. Just slowly preparing his trophy. Who else? Bear is chilling out. Mm. Playing with Gub Gub. <laughs> Gub Gub, you're so cute. He is enjoying the uh, different treatment that he's had all his life. Finally, seemingly being appreciated by someone, even if it's in a pet stance. <laughs> Gub Gub, taking care of. <laughs> <sighs> Uh, oh, wait. He'll uh, take a moment to look around and make sure everyone's doing all right. That uh, uh, you know, no one died in their sleep or anything like that, or that <laughs> those who are wounded are still managing to overcome their wounds. And uh, if everyone seems to be alive, if not in tip-top shape, he'll still head outside and then look out towards the sun, grab some uh, mud, uh, and kind of raise it in his hands a little bit, squeeze the water out, and say like a silent prayer to the water. And then I'll wipe his hands clean. And he'll look to start the day with the rest of you guys. Oh. I need to get myself a new cloak. Crystal's <laughs> uh, just gonna look around, see everyone still kind of looking the worst for wear. First, go over to Kronk. Yeah, and, uh, seriously. <laughs> Uh, she's gonna... Hold up. Let me do something quick. She's yeah. going to... Stabilize you, first of all. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, that meets the requirements. <laughs> <laughs> now, since I've never actually gotten a successful stabilize, what do I do? It's a d6 for every 10 degrees of success of the stabilize, starting at 15 DC. So, this would just be a d6. Okay. There. And... Oh, how much does that help you? Not a lot. I'll no, I leveled up. I mean, I, I, I just wanted to check you. This would only use up a use and not... Getting you the weapon yeah, XP. Yeah. I know, I know. But I'm still gonna use it because you know. Alright. Alright, well when you, when you start to stabilize him, he'll he'll jump up a little bit. Didn't realize you were there. And then you see he's got he's has the head of skull crusher in his hands. He's got his axe <laughs> slowly shaved in the body, joining the head. It's like oh, I didn't expect you to be here. <laughs> I'm Um. Well, oh, yeah, uh, I was. I, I I have to think that D eight of healing if I don't if I sleep. Oh, oh. you got balance energy. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, the only person I... who bought a technique. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I actually did another thing, but. <laughs> I was just making game, sure so. everyone was okay. I didn't mean to interrupt anything. No, you just... Sorry, man. Apparently. All right. Thank you. All right, then. I'm gonna... Who's other worst? I'm gonna walk over to Adze. Because... Uh, 
I'm gonna announce my presence so I don't startle him as well. Adze. Yo. I, I'm going to heal you. Is that alright? Great. <laughs> there. D6. Cool. And Sets me up to full. And... Alright. Don't even need to use my hand staff. Boom. Uh, I might as well stabilize Bear and Yashua too. So I walk up to Bear. I see he's just playing with Gub Gub. Roll my eyes, tap him on the shoulder. Yes? Oh. Would you <laughs> like to play with Gub Gub too? No, I'm just going to heal you a little bit and then just enough. Uh, oh, that felt good. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> there, just take that. Not my best. Uh, I, I'm not gonna waste a healing staff on you. I'm just gonna go over to Yashua, do the same thing. Is he still outside, though? Or did he come back in? Uh, he would have came back in to check okay. and see with you guys. In fact, he'd be looking to have a conversation with you all. So, all right. if he sees you, I'm gonna walk him. back. Yeah. Hello, Hello Joshua. Uh, I'm healing disappointed? everyone. I'm doing oh. well. Yes. So, uh, all right. Let's kinda see. Kind of looks at you awkwardly as he fumbles with his words. He's not used to speaking to people like this. So, uh, <laughs> he'll say, well, "Thank you." And he'll look at you. And he'll wait. Fuck me. <laughs> Ruined all my good uses. All right. Well. So I take one. Is that right? Yes. I just wanted to go ahead and stabilize everyone. Yashua looks. Ugh. Are you sure that this is working? <laughs> um, Steeped. I, I guess I'm still a little groggy, but yes, it 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 should be fine. Very well, Krista. I shall trust your word. All right. Then I just, I suppose I walk over to, J are, is Jenna and Tony awake yet, or are they? You don't know, they haven't come out of the house yet. Alright, then I'm just gonna stand around awkwardly. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> As it's just uh, dealing with his bow, just making sure that none of the mud destroyed any of it, or the fire. Everything's fine with it, right? <laughs> Go ahead and roll a knowledge weapon. Oh, okay. What did I use? <clears throat> That looks fine. <laughs> you don't see any uh, glaring faults with it. Cool. Nice. All right. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Ah. Uh, mm. Anyone else can do anything? Um, if Yashua sees that no one's doing anything pertinent, he will uh, approach and he'll ask you to gather so we can have a conversation. Well, if you if you want, yeah, sure. As he'll make his way over. All right, cool. We'll head back in. Oh, Yasha will turn to Bear. Bear, may I have your attention for a moment, my friend? Yes. Thank you. Uh, I would wish to speak with you all inside. He says. Then he'll turn to come, come, Crystal. Come to. Uh, yes, your friend may come with us. The new attorney crystal who uh, just finished patching him up 
and he'll say, uh, I wish to speak with you as well. All right, then. And uh, if he has everyone's like attention and stuff, he says, I have only met you yesterday, uh, somewhere time in the uh, evening, and uh, I have not known you long, but it seems that you are proficient in I do not know what your professions are, but <laughs> you seem to be capable of great things, and I would like to travel with you. Hmm. Eh, that seems fair. I mean, we're not going to turn away a new employee, so... <laughs> teammate, <seems> teammate. <laughs> no, no, you, you had a right employee. I mean, he could be an employee. <laughs> I mean, it, it's a thing. He expects wages if he's an employee, though. So. Yeah. Well, wages are based off of how good we can actually do our job. Mm-hmm. And whether we live or not. Yeah. No, no, no. Wages are just the work you pay. Uh, partnership is, you know, then percentage. As long as you understand that Bear is the mascot. Yeah, Bear, Bear is the mascot. What is this mascot? He says. <laughs> Looks at you he is the image, but, you know, some regret may be building up. I see. So he is the spokesperson of your, your enterprise. No, 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 no. no. He is confused. the image. The image, and he looks at us like I, I, I don't understand though. their words. <laughs> it's it's like a, it's a trademark, you know. People see Bear, they'll they'll see ads in Crunk and Company. They see you in Bear. Yeah. And he looks over at Bear, stares for a moment. He's like, uh. I understand, I think. <laughs> Can we change the name yet, by the way, since there have been more than just you and Adze? Yeah, that's what I'm open to suggestions, if you got them. Super Party, Awesome Turbo, Ninja Calculations, yeah. <clears throat> exactly like that. It'll work. Trust me. Super catchy. Uh, and now, then, um... I'll see, like, this is some, you know, ad- ads that I created. It's more fun this way. <laughs> sure. Alpha. Uh, whatever. When we That's get what... bigger, we'll, we'll think of it. But right now, we don't even have any pull around this help. I mean, yes, this help with Tony will help improve our Status and we'll be able to get work a bit better. And uh, Yashua will say, uh, What is it exactly that you do? May I ask? To anyone in particular? Uh, he's asking it to the group. He's kind of speaking to you all. He doesn't know you that well. Right now, we're just working to get our roots settled in this place. I see. Once we get a better reputation, we'll. People start coming to us more. That's uh, and why we started helping out here with Tony. I see. I see. And people will come to you for what? He says you know, like he doesn't know what you do as a living. So Anything. Asking question. There's uh, trouble afoot. Ads and Crunk and Company will be there to solve it. And he kind of <laughs> frowns when he says this and he says, Are you mercenaries? <laughs> We're a company. We have standards. Just trying to make our way in the world, in the new world. We're international now. Uh, <laughs> now, now, now that you're a part of the employee, Yashua, probably yeah. a little bit closer. I want to welcome you. you grabbed your butt. Uh, Yashua uh, freezes when you do this. Kind of flinches up right, and he says, uh, "Right," and he kind of quickly, as quickly as he can, manage steps back. You forget he's a child. <laughs> he doesn't forget oh, anything. Did he? It doesn't matter to him. <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. Um... He says, uh, "No, no, no." This, he this looks is at you with body. a frown, and he says, uh, "Thank you." And then he looks to the rest of you for confirmation. Like, what just happened? Just not his head. Please. We're looking for um, some uh, some uh, HR uh, in the meantime, but. Um, for now, just we'll try our best to ensure that he uh, behaves himself around 
any of us really trust me he was like he was very much like this with me the first time we met Bear, Bear can be HR he has some experience considering what you almost did to that uh, girl I'm gonna I'm gonna say we, we we'll put a pin in that bear one step at a time So, have we decided what we're going to do about Tony yet? I Take like Tony. To village. Take him back to the village. That's 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 what we're gonna do. I say that that's what. We should. He needs I to think we... he, he 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 obviously cannot be trusted to be left out here on his own. Even I mean... with the crept out, who knows what else might come around? They talked about the lizard men that walk around here. We have no idea what they're all about. What if he starts poking around well, with them? Do you really think he's learned his lesson? I think I'm pretty uh, sure he's learned his lesson now that his daughter was involved. But however, don't we don't know he why he lives that. out this far either. That's true. It I may be that this is this his high. punishment for his past crimes being so far away from safety. Well, Ty cared enough about him to ask him... Or to well, ask yeah. us to come check up on him. He's so... still part of his family. You don't just outright get rid of him. You can push him to the corner. But he still cares. I think maybe we should bring him to Tide. Just like we should bring the sword to Tide. <laughs> don't push this. That's adorable. That's <laughs> adorable. Well, we can oh, look at Gob Gob. Whether, whether Ty does anything to him or not, but for now, I'd say let him rest. And to be honest, where is he going to run? Bear joins Gob Gob. Bear just wanders off. <laughs> oh, I think this is a monarch. A, a monarch. <laughs> I. <laughs> Surprised he knows that. <laughs> Okay, are we inside the house or are we just like outside the house right now? No, not even once. You guys are outside of it. Okay, I'm going to go knock on the door. You don't get an answer. I'm going to knock on the door again. You still don't get an answer. As Tony! As just rings off in the distance with no answer. I think he's busy reconnecting with his daughter, maybe. Sure, Joshua. Be Bear, can you come over here for a second? Okay. Oh, can I bring the butterfly? Sure, sure. Did I catch a butterfly? Roll slide of hand. No. <laughs> I didn't catch a butterfly. <laughs> Roll slide of hand. windows no. to his house, right? Yes, there are windows, but they're not, not, the not people sized windows. Oh, okay. Well, are we I don't able to think see I them? can. I don't think I yes, can. Yes, uh, you can. What What do I see? You're too short. <laughs> I look to. I, I look at Kronk trying to look into through the window. Just stare yeah. right there for a bit for a second, and I'm gonna look to. I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna make a spot check through the window. You don't see any light on in there. Uh, I do have dark vision though, so spot check. <laughs> don't see any movement in there. Do you have dark vision or low light? Dark vision, because I'm Matawalan. Matawalans have dark vision. Okay, I'm going to make a listen. See if I hear anyone in there. Where's listen, 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 listen. Ah, there. You don't think you hear anyone. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and open the door then. The door opens. Yeah. Walk yeah. in and then say, yell for Tony. But Tony! As you come across, uh, you see that really fine table with what looks like a letter on the center of it. Go to, go to the letter and read it. What is everybody else doing? And I follow. Yasho will approach the doorway when he sees that everyone is entering inside. We will follow. 
Bear also I'm walks inside, finds somewhere to sit down. I'll stand in the doorway. Oh, we we got. And Kronk Kronk will turn around, holding the letter. And... Well, on the good news, we don't have to worry about Tony or his daughter anymore. But on the bad news, we don't have to worry about Tony and his daughter anymore. <sighs> Joshua will look at you and he says, "I do not understand your words." What is the oh, letter? Good bad be good and good be bad. He looks well, at Bear with it turns like, out, shock. It turns out they left in the middle of the night, so as to not hinder us as much to bring, you know, goodbyes and such. But Did they say where they were going? No, they just said in the middle of the night. Mm-hmm. But they they said we can we can have the cave since he no longer has the use of it, since he's together with his daughter. Joshua frowns, uh, and he looks to the rest of you and he says, Were we not going to bring the thief to justice? Well, he's gone now, and in all honesty, considering everything that's happened, if he's somewhere else with his daughter, I guess we shouldn't... There's no point yeah. trying to go after him right now. Best be reported yeah, sure. back to hide. He looks at you guys like a little bit perplexed, like a... Um... Like it, what you're doing doesn't make sense to him, so he'll look around real quickly and see if he can discern any tracks that uh, they might have left to indicate where they were going or where they aggressed from. You can give it a try. All right. Um, so roll tracking. Uh, I have no idea how that works because you've never told me. Just told it me is a skill. Yeah, skill, skill, skill based. Did you make the macro for it? Uh, yes. He told me I didn't make a macro. Uh, he, okay. I think All he right, said I'll... he did. Uh, oh. So he has a macro. Alright, so. I think, no, I have a track skill. I don't know. Yeah, macro. So just roll it like any other yep. skill? Yep. Yep. Alright. Yeah. You can't find yeah. anything. Uh, Ashra sure looks around, mm-hmm. sighs in frustration, <sighs> cannot find where they have it. I'm going to look to you guys for direction. Well, I would say the best we can do right now is just report him. And then from there, Tide will alert the other towns if it's necessary. True. We've done what we were supposed to. We helped him out. We reunited. Nobody got... Killed. Trunk looks around, yeah. <laughs> Severely <laughs> injured. I don't know, Bear got hurt pretty bad. <coughs> it didn't die. Go back there? Like five times. <laughs> don't don't worry, Bear, we'll two of them were ads, eh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, Not that's sure another thing, Ad. You need to fix that problem of yours of shooting Bear. Look! <laughs> it was a good Whatever. Ads is gonna look at the floor to mind to mind his time. We're gonna see if he can, if, if he'll at least be able to start to to see if he can get on the trail of uh, Tony if he want if he even wanted to. See if there's anything. Not contrary to how much mud's here and whatnot. You actually can't seem to pick up any noticeable trail for that simple fact. Because of all the mud and people walking in here and how difficult it is to discern any footprints, you can't figure out anything. Can't make heads or tails. Makes sense. Yeah, might as well just head back to the village and report in. Seems like the best idea. But we have a cave now, so that's something. Can we call it Bear Cave? We'll we'll uh, agree on a name together. How about that? Although don't, we don't agree on Bear Cave. In, in, in all <laughs> honesty, uh, Joshua looks at you guys like you're crazy. In all honesty, Bear Cave actually sounds pretty nice. To be completely honest. Well, any any other votes for Bear Cave or? We'll we'll we'll, we'll vote on it later. Names is 
let's just get back to the thing. I want to. I want to. I want to uh, get this job done and done and dusted. Also, we should probably. Uh, once we start making our way there, we should probably ensure that Gub Gub stays near uh, Bear, just so they don't mistake him for a scout or something that they might want to kill. Mr. Gub Gub, sir. <laughs> Come on, Gub Gub, get on Daddy Bear's shoulders. Ooh, wait, Gub Gub Heard said we have cave, yes? Yeah, this will be our cave. <gasps> Gub Gub gets own cave? Gub 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 shares cave with all of us. Yeah. Well, wait a minute. No, no Gub Do Gub shares cave, cave with all of us. He's not getting <laughs> his own cave. Do we really want this cave, though? Are we really going to keep it? Yes! Yes, we are! He gave well, it to us and left in the middle of the night without telling us. I feel like that's... Even though I wish he would still be here, I feel like that's a good trade. Uh, uh, Joshua looks at... Um, Kronk, and... Does Kronk have the letter in his hands? Did he put it up? Or what did he yeah, do? Yeah, I, I have it. Okay, well, he says, uh... Perhaps we should bring the letter as well. Why? Well, I planned on it, but this is the only thing we have of proof of ownership, I guess. Yeah. Like, I don't know why we I don't... burned the letter. It didn't say where he was going, so figured best to just hold on to it just to give Tide give, give to and tell him, hey, this is Tony's handwriting. He told us that we're at the cave now, and he's gone with his daughter. I like, would still think that the cave. muddy track all the way to this cave is really worth it. It'll be good to store yeah, something. Like, Plus, it's. I I would say we would have to take some time, you know, getting a proper path so we can, you know, not take half a day to get here. But yeah. for now, it's it's a nice little outing. Mm -hmm. It's something to fall back on if we need to hide. And, you know, we once we actually grow into a company, this could be headquarters. Yeah. If we before so we leave, though, do you feel like we mm -hmm. should just look around, take anything that that's. Oh oh, oh yeah, we definitely. Before we just Definitely leave it to its own devices. So we our come new back home. To it. <laughs> yeah. Can Gub so, Gub make Cave Cave more of a, a, a Gub Hole? Define Gub Hole. You, you can get... Oh, yes. You, can, you, can, you make your Gub Hole with Bear. Gub Gub can make Cave into Gub Hole. Gub Gub make really it good... Into at, beautiful. Before Gub Gub forced to do... Watching for... For man, man, Gub Gub was good with hammer and nails. Okay, so are you like essentially you can, you can saying that things? you want to stay here while we go back to the village? Is that what you're saying? He just flaps his head. Yes, his big uh, wavy ears flapping up back and forth. Gub, I don't know. Gub. Do we trust this thing? No. I trust Gub Gub what? as far as I can throw him, and I can throw Gub Gub very far. <laughs> yeah, it's, you know, curled, gritty teeth, but he is a friend. Mm hmm. So we should trust him until otherwise. Did you just call Gub Gub friend? Oh. I, it may have slipped out, yes. When you say that, Gub Cup kind of does a barfing, <laughs> like, imitation. <laughs> Crystal kind of smirks. <laughs> so does that say. Alright, so... Joshua sticks. Alright, so Gub Gub, you're gonna stay here and hold down Joshua the fort while we're gone? <laughs> what did you say? Did you say Joshua Stakes? No, I said <laughs> Joshua Stairs. Oh, okay. He stakes. He just stakes. Uh, yeah, Gub yeah. Gub nods like, Gub Gub can work on things. Anything you want Gub Gub to do? Um, if you can help, you know, just clean around the place and start making a little path so we don't drown ourselves every time we come here. Path in mud? Path over mud. Gub Gub would need wood and nails. Yeah, but I think that would take a while. I mean, like, we have a couple trees around here, but... It, it'll be a work in progress. I think right now... Go, go, how good are you at making, like, doors, locks, traps? 
Gub Gub not as good at traps as Snark Snark, but okay. Gub Gub can make a door. Okay, well, utilizing some of the wood that we can find around here concerning the trees and brush, do you think you can make a door with like a lock? So it's not just open to the elements. Gub Gub can try. All right, that make that's good. Is it, so. Uh, so, as Owl is my witness, is that a deal? As Adze puts out his hands to Gub Gub. Who? It's. It's a deal, Daddy. Don't don't worry about it. Just is 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 it a deal? <laughs> okay. All right. Joshua looks at you. He's like, Do we shake? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at you. Oh, he's like, like, uh, what have you offered for your part of the deal? <laughs> It's just confused. <laughs> That's 18 on Gub Gub. He doesn't seem to be lying. <laughs> Though he doesn't seem to be doing this without benefit for himself. To what <laughs> end that is, you don't know. Yeah. Kronk Kron will begin to still stare at him and he'll so I'm gonna go check out this, or this, this, this little section here to see what Gub Gub can work with. Prop will go Before over there. Go. Looking over at the table, it just seems to be a bunch of um, tools. Nothing that can like compare to a proper weapon, but wood crafting tools. Um, shovels. Enough for Gub Gub to work with, like is. <laughs> The necessities there, he can actually start doing stuff. Yeah. And how much wood is there as well? None. None. What's in the tent then? The tent? Or that? Is that an outing? That's just more tools. This is just okay. a tool area. Okay. Right. There's plenty of trees, right? There are yeah. plenty of trees out here, but Gub Gub can't chop that down. That would be yeah. someone to chop them down and then do all the processing needed to uh, make that into plates. Which Gub Gub is a big crux. Still a crux. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Gub Gub, do you need us to work on the that wood for you before we can leave you to make the door? Well, where do you want bridge over Inky to go to? Well, I mean, first I think like we should work on. Hmm. Go on. You 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 go on farther away by definition. Speak. (laughs) Oh. Just go. (laughs) Speak. Oh no, I go. I I go. I'm gonna ask. Um, because I didn't understand what you were saying there. Um, so. I, I mean, like, I feel like having the door here first would be the best option because at least with the door, you can ensure that things aren't just going to just wander in. Granted, I'm not sure how good are you, how good you are, Gub Gub, at a lock and, and making a lock, but at least we have a door in which just no random animal is just going to wander in. At least with a door, we can you can ensure that when you leave. There's not going to be something waiting yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah. Gub get Gub back. gets understands what door means. That's it. Doesn't need to make book. Okay. I'm sorry. Gub, put a, Damn it. Put a door in front of the cave there. Crunk Crunk will put point out. To Maybe keep out some food. running water. We have a pond right here. I think that'll be fine. We, we have like there is running water in front of us. Yeah. What about an irrigation yeah, system? Yeah, yeah. That's out outside the door. I think all of them kind of look at you in curiosity because they don't even know what that is. <laughs> yeah, like, like, what the hell, bear? The hell did you just say? Every bear knows about irrigation. It's very important. Oh my gosh. <laughs> all right, let's... Well, to go further into that, that would mean you guys would need to buy the specialization skills into farming to figure that out, which Gub Gub does not. <laughs> All right. So, Gub Gub, how long does it normally take to get some planks out of one of these smaller trees? 
Gub Gub looks at those trees. No, those trees are too... No, those bad trees. You want big trees. Trees that don't bear squishies. Squishies? Fruits, I'm assuming. The, the squishies that, that you eat, right? Ew, you don't eat squishies. Oh. What is she? <laughs> he points at the trees with the orange hanging fruit on them. Yeah, fruit. That's what I assumed. Oh, so there's like plenty of fruit in here too. Yeah, but... Hold on. Do you want to go over Why and try one? See if it's poisonous that? or not? <laughs> let's, let's try a knowledge nature on that. No, shall we? <laughs> so you look Do at the either... fruit. You don't know what it is. Wait, you guys have knowledge nature. Uh, not very much. Not very Versoy much. Versoy has knowledge uh, nature. So. Let me try. I have knowledge nature. Uh, I have to get to my shit. Hold on. Uh, got it. you never seen it before. Okay. I have no idea what that fucking thing is. Are there well, that, are there any trees gonna... that don't? Oh, I'm stupid. Like, yeah, let's, let's not, <laughs> we're not gonna, gonna go that over and pluck one of the fruit and put it in his bag. Like, we can go ask a uh, tide about this when once we get back. See if we have a self-sustaining food source here as well. Back to what what Kronk was trying to say after being rudely talked over. <laughs> <laughs> are there are there any non squishy bearing trees around here that we can see? The one in the far west seems to be bearing orange looking fruits. The one in the top doesn't seem to be bearing any, but you do see green buds that seem to hang from the tree. All right. So I'll ignore that. No. Hey, gub gub. Gub, Maybe. gub 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 gub. Maybe we could get bags of sand and then put the bags of sand on the mud as like a bridge. Yeah, that's a thought. We could move dirt over yeah. it. Maybe. Area too wet. Sand would get swept into mud or icky. That's why you put it in a bag. What bag? In in a bag. Okay, well, like... either way, this will be a lot of work for just one crux, so I feel like we should just focus on him making a door and probably lock. I feel like well, the that's... bridge is, is something we can work to? That's what we're trying to do. We need materials. So I'm trying to get a tree easy enough to do this quickly with. Okay, so, so we're trying to get the tree for the door. A... Then I don't think right. there's any trees around in this cave that we can see that's going to help no. us. So we're right. going to have so to go I'm out and find one. Right, so I'm going to tell Gug Gug, was like, follow me, we'll find one outside. So as you take Gub Gub outside, and after approximately, like, two hours well, of searching, you well, that's, come that's up... that's also what I wanted to do beforehand. I wanted to, before we actually did that, what time does it look like? It's morning, you guys just woke up. I know, but you said two hours. Yeah, two hours from morning, still morning. So it's a new day? Yes. Oh, yeah, we, yeah, we. Yeah, we. <laughs> yeah. We literally deadline. just woke up, dude. I thought, no, I thought we, like, literally took, like, a half hour nap or something and then came back. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah, see, that's that's where I was confused. All right, now I'm not in Press's time for anymore. Yeah. All right, yeah, okay, no, we're good. We're good now. So, so we take the two hours. After that, you get the idea that for the door, he probably needs about three full ch grown trees chopped down and then planked and then shaved and then all that fun stuff so this seems to be a job that should take someone if grub gub was doing it by himself about three weeks to can finish if he had to do all the tree stuff as well and if he had me to help him to actually get it down and do if you help him with the tree part, it would probably take him less of, like, five days to complete. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, that's that's what I would throw to the other guys, see what their opinion would be. Okay. D 
do we want to head to Ty, tell him about that, then come back here and work on the and work on the door? So I feel like getting to Ty and telling what happened is top priority. Well, I'll I'll tell you what, I'll stay here, man down, because if anyone comes back, <laughs> you I don't you want, think you want to split up the party, because that's worked so well for us. It has. That's. Adze was a hundred percent fine. Splitting up didn't actually kill us yet. Um, hi. Uh, why why are you talking to the third person? I'm right here, Kronk. I kind of point to the uh, arrow hole in my forehead. You have an arrow hole? God, Joshua looks over these <laughs> stairs. You <laughs> like, are you all right? Wasn't he there for that? <laughs> the he scar. Had not noticed. He did. Yeah. He, he knew you were hurt. He didn't know you had like a like actual weeping wound. He's like, oh. <laughs> and so at that, we're gonna go ahead and take another break. Okay. <laughs> As you guys are just like um, trying to figure out exactly what to do next, sure. talking in circles, really not um, really accomplishing anything. We're gonna be back after a 10, 15 minute break. It's time to stand up, use the restroom, and all that, and we'll be back after that. So, talk to you soon. Peace. Okay, so what are we going to do? Are we going to...